Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on using Pythagoras theorem to calculate the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. So we've got this right angle triangle here and we know two of the lengths and we want to find the third length. In this particular video we want to find the length which is the longest side of the right angle triangle and this longest side of the right angle triangle is known as the hypotenuse, probably one of the most misspelt words in mathematics. So that's the longest side of a right angle triangle. So how do we find this side here? Well, we use something called Pythagoras theorem. And Pythagoras theorem is this. If we have a right angle triangle, and let's call the shorter sides A and B, doesn't matter which way around, and the longest side, the hypotenuse, is C, then Pythagoras theorem is that A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. And in words, that's basically saying that if we square each of the shorter sides of a right angle triangle and then add them together, then we get the square of the longest side, the hypotenuse of the triangle. So we just need to substitute these sides into this particular formula here. So we can make one of the shorter sides A and the other shorter side B. It doesn't matter which way around they go because what way you add them doesn't matter. And then the longest side has to be the C. And let's just substitute a, b, and c into this formula. So we first got a squared, so 8 squared, plus b squared, 5 squared, is equal to c squared, which is x squared. So let's just simplify the left-hand side of the equation. We've got 64 plus 25. And if we add those together, we get 89. And then if x is being squared to give 89, how do we find x? How do we get rid of that squared? Well, we just need to square root both sides of the equation. The x squared just becomes x because the square root cancels out the squared. And then we square root the 89. We could just write it as root 89. But if you put in your calculator and press the SD key to convert it to a decimal, we get 9.43 centimetres, because that was the unit to three significant figures, and that's the final answer.